Hello and welcome. I'm Katie of Soul Feast Katie, holistic healer and nutritionist, and I'm here at one of my favorite stores in Toronto, The Sweet Potato. I'm here with Jordan. And I'm here with Katie. And the reason that we're here at The Sweet Potato is um, I'm transitioning into a plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew that Katie was the gal to get the job done. So what inspired you to become more plant-based, Jordan? You know what's funny? Like, I think it was a meat thing. Like for me, I, I was eating meat and I just got an intuitive like nudge that um, maybe it was something that disagreed with my body. I said, mm -hmm. I don't want to eat meat anymore. Like I think I just want to, mm -hmm. and I want to start cleansing. And I knew that mm -hmm. I've done this sometime before, but I almost died because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, oh I literally went from uh, eating meat to eating celery and carrots. Oh. I thought that's what being vegan was about. Uh oh. <laughs> and I, I was like anemic, I almost died. Oh my God. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just got that inclination again to kind of cut meat from my diet, but this time more yeah. of a, making it into a lifestyle. So I'm like, let me just reach out to Katie, mm. see how she mm -hmm. can help me um, transition because um, these Doritos are, are killing me out here. <laughs> We've got alternatives, I swear. Okay. Yeah. You promise? Yes. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's do this. So we're starting in the produce section. Mm. Are you ready? I'm super excited. Did you know you can actually eat the fresh aloe vera? Of course I did. Amazing. You're from Jamaica, so yeah, you, you know this. Like this is in your room. a million plants in my kitchen. If you come to my kitchen Perfect. right now, it's like a botanical garden. Wow. Like 80% aloe vera growing oh. like wildfire. Wonderful. My mom uses it for everything. That's perfect. She uses like a face mask. Yes. Anyways, let me, I'm, I'm ranting now. Okay, perfect. No, that's <laughs> but amazing. Yes, but let me yes. know because maybe you have something new to Yeah, add. so you can actually put the gel in your smoothies. See, I didn't do, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I could. Okay. There's always more to learn, right? So you cut along the sides. And then you just cut the green part off and you're just using like the clear gel, mm -hmm. not the green part. That That's going to give you diarrhea, the green part. Wait, so don't do on, the green part. So the green yeah. part, is it like a cleanse? You don't want to eat the green part, basically. No, no, but if I want to cleanse, is that a good way to do it? Uh, not necessarily. I can suggest other things for that. Yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah just save yourself. <laughs> I feel like I'm speaking from experience here. Oh, okay. Well, no, no. <laughs> You're funny. Sweet potatoes. So this one is orange on the inside. Okay. And this one is more like an oriental sweet potato so, so it's like white on the yam? inside um yeah similar okay yeah yeah so but they're both delicious awesome yeah so you can okay. make a nice sweet potato mash mm -hmm. you can make roasted sweet potato fries in the oven just mm -hmm. by chopping them up add coconut oil so delicious okay yeah okay. so katie <laughs> what are these for so these are reusable produce bags so oh. instead of those plastic bags like you know the produce bags like you know the ones you put the gummy bears in? Yes. If you had these, you could put the gummy bears in this. Okay, yeah. so is it reusable? Yeah, you can throw them in the washing machine. That I, was my next question. Yeah, you can use these for a year. Okay, yeah, they're so really good. Is there a limit to what can go in these things? Like, would you put anything not produce in there? Um, I wouldn't put like a raw steak in here or something. Okay. <laughs> you went a little far, but <laughs> I was thinking more like potatoes and things like oh. you want to cook. Like, you could you use it as like a uh, grocery bag for yeah, produce? Yeah, like I put in like a bunch of cilantro in here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll put carrots, potatoes, lemons, anything. Mm. Mushrooms. Like, why wouldn't I just use a, a entire reusable bag for, sure. for all my stuff? But if you put all your little pieces, all your little mushrooms, throw them, and then they get lost in the bag, they get smushed. They get, I see, you know, so course. this is kind of just like, you know, to put those items that you sort of want to keep together mm -hmm. or, or even garlic so it doesn't peel off and you get a bunch of shells in the bottom of your bag. Like, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. So you can actually make a delicious, easy salad mm -hmm. and you can put one of these dressings on it and okay. it's absolutely delicious. Have so you tried this before? Are these like, um, like, like what's the fat content in something like this? Because I'm looking at it and it yeah. looks way too delicious <laughs> like to be... Fat so free. yeah so I mean you don't want it to be fat free because you actually need the fat in the dressing to digest the fat soluble vitamins in your salad okay yeah so it's good that it has healthy fat because this is uh, like an olive oil base and mm -hmm. it has t a t like a tahini kind of base a okay. sesame seed or a hemp heart base so it's high in protein high in healthy fats and it tastes amazing okay yeah. so are you telling me to get this flavor or <laughs> this one's my favorite flavor, okay yeah. actually and by salad i don't mean just like iceberg lettuce and like one other thing i mean this whole could be your whole meal the salad 
mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. you could put raw veggies, you could put roasted or steamed veggies, mm -hmm. you could add nuts and seeds for your protein, okay. put on that dressing, and it can be very actually filling and complete. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's something I think I'm going to need help with, just like oh, okay. doing a, a salad that is beyond the salad that I'm used to. Yeah. Because like, in my mind, a salad is like, you know, just on the side. romaine. Croutons. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> that's, and that's it. it. Okay, okay. That's a salad. You go to a restaurant, that's all they give you. Unless you ask for one of the fancy ones, right? So, okay. okay, so now the, the salad good. can actually be the whole meal. Mm -hmm. But you want to add some warmth in it, especially that it's winter now. Like yeah. maybe some roasted beets, maybe some roasted sweet potatoes. Okay. Maybe add some avocado. Avocado would be nice. Yeah, avocado okay. is super nice. Or make guacamole and throw it on top. Mm. Yeah, you could add some quinoa to the salad, and it can be like a very filling salad. God. Yeah, add, ch add chickpeas, add coconut bacon. Oh my God! See, so now, <laughs> see, now I'm starting to get sold to this whole vegan thing. So coconut bacon is a thing. Does it taste like yes. actual bacon? Yeah, like it has the same flavor. It just, you know, it's not like it's just healthy. A pig. Yeah. It's not a pig. Yeah. Wow. So a yeah. pig was saved. The pig's Let's name save is the pig, guys. Bacon. <laughs> coconut bacon. Well, what do we have here? So these are blood oranges. There's something about the flavor of this. It's just, look at that. It's just oh, so juicy. I feel my, my mouth salivating just thinking just, about wow. it. Yeah, it's delicious. I want to drink your blood <laughs> oranges. We are actually in the bulk section, which is an amazing place to go. You can even bring your reusable bags. Mm -hmm. And look, organic black bean rotini pasta from Italy. So what yeah. would you, how would you, prepare something like that because I have yeah. zero idea. Yeah. Okay, so basically you just make the pasta, you boil the water, add the pasta in, mm -hmm. you can put some pesto on top mm -hmm. with some stir-fried veggies or steamed veggies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could put some tomato sauce. Oh, so you prepare it just the same way you prepare pasta in yeah. general? exactly. So exactly. what are the health benefits? Like why, why, yeah, why that? So is instead of having gluten, which kind of makes you, you know, tired and it's kind of like paper mache in your intestines and it's difficult to digest, Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be more energizing and black bean is crazy high in protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't want paper mache in your stomach. No. <laughs> it's not a good thing. <laughs> Instead of, you know, cheese, you can actually use cashew cheese. The sun-dried tomato and olive one is so delicious. It's one of my favorites. They even have an everything bagel cashew cheese. It's so good. Oh, okay. So yeah. this, is, this will give you that everything bagel taste that you get from yeah, Tim Hortons? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so, but a lot healthier. So that's good. Turmeric, it's the number one anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. and you always want to combine it with black pepper. Turmeric and black pepper together because black pepper, it's going to increase the bioavailability of the curcumin in the turmeric. Basically, it makes it that your body can actually use it and get the benefits better. So it's like Batman and Robin. Exactly. Together to fight crime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what this does the, in the body. The crime is the like, bacteria in your stomach. <laughs> gotcha. Have you tasted these? I'm probably going to say no to most, probably 70% of everything oh. in here. <laughs> okay, so these make flavor so good. You don't need any cooking skills. You just literally put this on and it tastes amazing. Coconut rice with this. Rice, coconut milk, and spicy herb amer okay. is unbelievable. Pasta, coconut milk, and spicy herb amer, unbelievable. Okay. It's delicious. This I basically put on everything. Okay, so this can be your new Doritos. Oh, it doesn't look as shiny. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes amazing, I swear. Okay. Yeah, these are really delicious crackers, and they're actually healthy. They have a lot of nutrition in them. Okay. Yeah, so you could dip these in hummus. You could dip them in some cashew cheese. Yeah, simple, healthy snack. So, see, the, the, for me, the thing is, is it's like, the hardest part is, like, you're telling me it's delicious, and I'm sure it is, mm -hmm. but it's like, how do I shift my mind okay. from beautiful Doritos ranch, <laughs> the packaging is incredible, to, to this? Like, this is a much more, you know, I don't want to say basic design, but it kind of is, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's like... What would you suggest? Like, should I just try it and, and hope that the taste is enough to keep me going? Put them in a cute bowl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will try that. <laughs> so the ingredients here, it's just sweet potato, coconut, buckwheat, chia seed, apple cider vinegar, and Himalayan salt. Okay. And that's it. So it's all real stuff your body can digest. For me, the number one thing is I'm going plant-based. Every single person that eats meat in my um, community, family, they're like, where are you going to get your protein from? So, where am I getting my protein? Protein loaf. <laughs> okay, what is this? 
This is the best gluten-free bread there is. It's so delicious. Okay. It's so delicious and it's so pure and healthy and they even use actually well water in the process. You could make like an avocado toast. Mm -hmm. You could put that cashew cheese on this. Okay. You could top it with some sauerkraut and sprouts, a side salad. So my question is, is mm -hmm. if I replace my meat sources with mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. am I gonna remain healthy? Oh yeah, this is, so buckwheat, uh, sprouted chickpea flour, buckwheat groats, hemp hearts, ground flax seeds, extra virgin olive oil, buckwheat sourdough culture, and unrefined sea salt. Your detergent, it's really important that you're using something that's natural mm -hmm. because you know you're wearing your clothes all the time, you're sleeping in your bed all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be doing that in chemicals. So right? how does this how does this connect to my transition from um, into a holistic diet? Like, like, yeah. like what's the like what's the difference between regular stuff in this. Would you rather go in a pool of chemicals or would you rather go in a pool of fresh water with a lavender essential oil? Well, I mean, it's very <laughs> obvious when you say it that way. <laughs> it is that obvious with it, this. It's like you're washing okay. your clothes with something, you're in your clothes all day or you're in your bed all night. So, you know, you want it to be something natural because everything that goes on your body, it's going into your bloodstream. That's so interesting. Yeah, so this is super important. And lavender is my favorite. I actually have Perfect. lavender oil on right now. Oh, so good. <laughs> so you kind of tapped in to that. Awesome. Katie, you know me. Mm -hmm. I've been a chip fiend <laughs> since like I can remember mm -hmm. and it's not always been the healthiest thing. Okay. So this is probably the most exciting part of this journey. Chips. Show me the healthy <laughs> chips. Where are the healthy chips at? Let's go. For sure. When you're looking for chips, okay. if you see canola oil, Put it back on the shelf. Avocado oil or ones that are cooked with coconut oil, these would be really, really great options. Like what about these guys over here? Cause like they, this is more my, up my alley, like the kettle cooked. Okay. Yeah, I would stick to more so the avocado oil or the coconut oil. These have sunflower oil. So it, that wouldn't be like my first choice. This would be a good tip. Let's see. Yeah, potatoes, avocado oil, and Himalayan sea salt. See, that would be great. You, you, the thing is with you that I, I think it, you gotta give me a little bit of leeway with this. Okay. You're thinking from the perspective of somebody who is, you're deep into this life. For okay. me, I'm looking at where's the flavor. Okay. Where does flavor meet um, health? That's what I'm so looking at. So dip this in some guacamole. Oh, Dip it in okay. some beet hummus. So get the, the healthiest get a good chip dip. Yeah. and get just dip. Yeah. Just dip, guys. Just dip. <laughs> the chip doesn't have to have the flavor. Yeah, you can Got get the you. flavor from other stuff too. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. We just finished the grocery tour. And I got like a bunch of cool stuff that I can use to start. Um, a mm -hmm. bunch of amazing knowledge, which is amazing because mm -hmm. for me, that's where it starts. Like just knowing that it's possible mm -hmm. and like knowing that instead of I'm gonna get this, I can get that. So thank you, Katie. Exactly, my pleasure. Yeah, just those simple swaps, you know? Thank you so much for joining us today. Definitely check out The Sweet Potato. It's an amazing store. You'll definitely enjoy it and get yourself some nice healthy goodies. More uplifting content on Inspo TV. We'll see you next time. So, where can I get my pro- No, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start again. Start. Sweet potatoes. Right. I told this man about coconut bacon once and he goes, Coconut? Is the, was the name of the pig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. That makes so much sense. I know. I was like, no, no, it's actually coconut. And they actually have different uses. You can actually use this for nut milk as well when you're straining out the nuts. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, that was just completely funny because you did this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> straining out the nuts. Keep that in. Okay. Keep that in. <laughs>